What's up, y'all? I hope y'all had a great holiday, a great Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, I sure did. Aaliyah got a lot of stuff. She's been getting stuff before Christmas, during Christmas, and she's still getting stuff. And quite frankly, I am sick and tired of cleaning up toys right now. Like, every day I'm cleaning up toys, okay? But, um, besides that, let me get straight to it. Because I don't know if y'all been waiting for a new video. But I've been anxious to get one out to you. To show you or tell you guys what I've been up to. Um, I've been pretty much doing a lot of research on painting on black velvet. I know for a fact that I won't know exactly what it's like until I actually get the fabric here i ordered three yards of it um i believe that i'm only going to have to use two about two yards of the black velvet fabric to cover up the 40 by 60 canvas but the rest of it i'm going to use it to practice on i can't wait to do that i have to uh get some special paint like fabric paint and some regular i got regular acrylic paint um and I can also get like a medium to mix it with. It's like a clear uh, paint that you can mix with your regular paint to kind of make your own bootleg version of fabric paint. I hope I didn't lose y'all with explaining that, but it's pretty much two different types of ways to paint on black velvet. And um, yeah, it's a whole thing. Hopefully I can get more in detail with that when I start actually practicing. But I do want to say that I went to the fabric store and I couldn't find no black velvet. Like, it was really weird. I couldn't find it at Joanne's Fabric. I couldn't find it at Hobby Lobby. No one had black velvet. So I had to order on the line. I hate order online because I have to wait for the stuff. But that's what I'm waiting on right now. An update if you don't follow me on Instagram. That you have to have um 100 all natural black velvet either silk or cotton um silk is a little bit more expensive so i chose cotton um i feel like that fabric would be more sturdier or durable when it comes to using my paintbrush on it and over time it just will last longer and it's not really slippery and silky but yet yeah, still have that velvet sheen or shine to it so i cannot wait to get my fabric in the mail so i can just start painting on that shit. um what else did i learn i want to say something new that i learned about um painting on black velvet so your paintbrush has to be flat for example Okay, this is what I have for an example. Like, you see how, uh, sorry, this is like flat. You want your brush to be like that and you want it to be dry, okay? That means you cannot dip your uh, brush in water and inside the paint that I'm going to explain to you what you need, the type of paint that you need, and then start painting because it'll make it, excuse me, it'll make it, <laughs> um, very cracky and it's just not gonna look right when it dries so flat brush no water uh when you do clean off your brush or whatever um dry it off or just use different brushes for different colors and keep it in that range the type of paints that you need is high quality acrylic paints fabric paints or you can use regular oil um, paints or acrylic paints and mix it with a medium a medium is like a clear white kind of paint that you mix it with to make it act as if it's fabric paint so that's the cheaper way the more expensive way is just go ahead and buy the fabric paint i'm gonna do both um starting off with the regular white on the the fabric when i get it 
just so I can practice with my brush strokes and techniques to get certain things that I want to achieve on a black velvet, okay? Um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> shaking the table. So I did uh, research body gestures because I wanted the female that I'm drawing on the canvas to speak for herself and body language is everything. So I did show uh, my client a few of these pictures that you see here. Those are just two images, but this third one, this is what she chose. She likes the way she's sitting. I completely agree. It's really hard to tell what emotions she's feeling. She's just chilling, but yet she's sexy and beautiful and she's showing just enough skin and she's not being, you know, all out there. Yeah, this is just me practicing the different body gestures i really feel like there's no point in me doing this but at the same time it kind of is um i'm gonna have to blow up these this sketch or whatever on a 60 by 30 canvas so it really won't matter <laughs> i feel like because i like freehanding um i don't know we'll see because i've never drawn on anything that big before but yeah it's just just hella research going on over here and i just want to make sure i post a video every week of what i've been doing what i've learned just to keep you updated letting y'all know let my client know that that's all my mind is on 24 7 and i'm continuously working on it getting better learning something new so yeah uh i hope y'all have a great new year's eve turn up be safe wear a mask if you decide to go anywhere and i'll see y'all next week